Hello. Today I am going to be making some crackling birch wax melts. So I am getting my beeswax and measuring that out first. I use a combination of white beeswax and 415 soy wax. I use the beeswax to kind of firm up the soy wax so that they unmold from the tarts easier. I bought the soy wax before and then um, I decided I wanted a firmer wax after I bought all of it and I had a lot of it. So I figure I will use it all up. All right, so. I'm gonna melt this down and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna I do got that. this little hot plate on Amazon and I put my little melting pot thing on it. And I'm just going to turn it on to its lowest setting. And I'm gonna let that heat up and then I will periodically stir up this beeswax and then I will add the soy wax once this is melted down. It takes a little bit longer for the beeswax to melt than it does the soy wax. And while I'm waiting for that to melt down, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my fragrance, which is Nature's Garden Cracklin' Birch, and it's a maximum use of 10%. And I wrote little notes on here for the actual cold process soap making, because I just made that today. So I'm going to use two ounces of the fragrance. Went over a tiny bit, but I'm not worried about it. And it's just now starting to melt down. It's only been a couple minutes since I turned on my little hot plate on the lowest setting. But it's starting to melt there in the bottom. So shortly, once that's most of the way melted, I will start measuring in the soy wax. Alrighty, so while I'm waiting for that to melt down, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my soy and I need 12 ounces of my soy wax. A little bit more. Couple little pieces. All right. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding, if I have room here, my, my phone is like right there. Here, one second. Let me move my light. Maybe that'll work. There we go. I did it. Alrighty, it's been about five minutes or so. I'm gonna let it continue to melt down. I put it up to one and a half for the settings here. So we will see how long it takes. Alrighty, so it's almost all the way melted. I've stirred it a little bit and it's to 164. So I wanna get it to at least 175 um, cause that's when I'm gonna add the fragrance because I could add it at like 185 to the soy, but the beeswax has a different um, like temperature that the fragrance would bind to. So I go a little bit down to 175 and I haven't had any issues doing that. So it seems to work out well. Let me see if I could get this melted down. Ooh. 
looks like it's melted all the way now. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and pour this off. It's about 190. And I know pouring it into this is going to immediately cool it down. Okay, I'm going to stir this up. Alrighty, my son just came home from school, so if you hear a bunch of ruckus, that's what's happening. <laughs> they had their Halloween thing today. So, I had to put this back on the hot plate because when I poured it into here, it all pretty much solidified pretty quick. I should have microwaved this a little bit to warm it up before I poured the wax into it, but I didn't want to do that. So it's 172 now, which is fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour my fragrance in. And I'm not coloring this batch because I'm coordinating it with the soap that goes with it, which it's gonna be a snowflake soap. So this is going to be a kind of like a snowflake themed wax melt. So I'm going to stir this for probably two whole minutes and then I will check the temperature and pour it when it's about 140. The flash point of this fragrance oil is 200 so I don't really have to worry about it disappearing out of the wax or anything if I pour it at a lower temperature and we're only down to 163. So I will stir for another minute or so and then check it again. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this, it's called Wisteria um, Mica here. And it's like a, uh, what's the word? It does a different, couple different colors. I don't want it a lot, I just want a little bit just to sparkle up the wax whenever you go to melt it. It's duochrome. I'll do a little bit more. I wanna save some to sprinkle on top of the snowflake soap that I made. I have to unmold that tomorrow. So let me keep stirring this. It's, let me slow it down. When it's still, it reads uh, cooler. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up of this sparkle. You can see it's kind of like a purpley blue. Really cool. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add these little pearl sprinkles.
ready. So I think that's all I'm gonna add. And once they're all set up, actually, before that, I might put a little bit of my edible glitter. It's like a really fine glitter spray. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that on there. Oh yeah. You guys have to make sure you kind of shake it before you spray. Alrighty. So once this is all set up, I'll bring you back and show you the tops. Alrighty, and this is it. You could kind of see the shimmer. Oh, there you go. It's like a pearl shimmer on top. And those little sprinkle beads, sugar beads. Let me see if this will... There, you kind of see that shimmer. So what happened here is right there, I tried to push the sprinkles down a little deeper and it caved in. So don't do that. <laughs> Alrighty, that is it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.